Hi, I'm Todd Baginski. Thanks for watching the video and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a Microsoft MVP and partner and CTO at Canvas. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to debug a PowerApps PCF control. This video follows up on the last one I posted, which describes how to create your own PCF control for PowerApps from scratch. So enough with the intro, let's get started. Boy, is this easy to do. I wish everything was this easy to debug when it comes to computers and technology. To debug a PowerApps PCF control, the first thing you want to do is actually get the code up and running inside of the test harness inside the web browser. So to do that, you come into Visual Studio Code or a command line, and you run the command that you see here in my terminal window, npm run start. So I will just enter that command and hit the enter button, and that's going to get the process started, and it's going to load up my test harness for me. Now that pops up in a new browser window, and it looks like this. You can see it's at my local host port 8181. And so now, inside of here, I can type in the values that I would like to appear inside of my control. So, for example, I can say, good day. And you'll notice as I type in the right, my control is running in the test harness here on the left. And so whatever values I put in this sample property here, they appear inside of the control itself. Now that code that I am using to do this that is all here inside of Visual Studio Code. This is my index.ts file. And so in order to debug this, as I mentioned, the first thing you do is you get your test harness running. You pop your code up in there. And if you didn't see my previous video where I actually created this PCF control, you can loop back and look at how I made this exact sample here that we're looking at. So let's say we would like to debug this control. So to do it, it's very easy. All I have to do is press F12, and that opens up my developer tools here that allow me to debug it. Now, you'll notice that it's automatically selected the file for me here. And the browser that I'm using to debug this is actually the Edge Chromium Preview browser. So I love this browser, it's so fast. I've had no issues with it at all, and I love being on the preview with it, and I think it's faster than all the other browsers. So I've just started using it all the time, and it's really nice to demonstrate debugging capabilities built right into that browser as well. So after you hit F12, you select the index.ts file, and then you go choose where you'd like your breakpoint. So I'm gonna put it in the update view right here. This is gonna fire every single time I type a value into the input for the property. So let's put the breakpoint here on line 43. And now I'm going to put in a string. I'm just going to type in like ABC123. So let's put in A. You can see my breakpoint is immediately hit. So now I can come down here and I can mouse over things and I can see there's the value that's actually coming in from that input window. And the, that's the A that I just typed in. And that's going to set it equal to the local value. And you can also inspect other things, like look at the context object. This is really helpful. You can see all the things that the context object tells you associated with your PowerApps PCF control. So all I have to do to resume is click the button to resume execution. And now we've got out of that breakpoint, and we can see that the value A is now put inside of my control. So if I repeat it and type letter B, the same thing happens and my breakpoint hits. And now I can debug that breakpoint and see that it's going to be a B as soon as I resume from debugging. And there you have it. So that's how you go forth and debug a PowerApps PCF control. Hey, thanks again for watching the video. I hope it came in helpful for you. 
Now go mash that subscribe button so I can keep the videos coming. If you'd like to work with me sometime on some Power Apps or Azure or Office 365, go ahead and contact me at canvas.com. And if you'd like to watch more videos about great things with technology, check them out down here. Have a good one.